and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video, guys. And today I'm be going over the most overpowered cards in Madden 20 that you should be powering up. Now, this video applies to two forms of this. Obviously, there are powered up full cards, like powered up final tier, and there's powered up prior to final tier, if you guys know what I'm saying. What that pretty much means is there's Deion Sanders 90 overall power up, and there's Deion Sanders fully powered up 94. These cards are great either way, which is the beauty of these cards. So, I like these cards because you can, I actually start these cards in my team. I'll show you guys real quick before you think I'm BSing you. I'll show you guys right here. So, I have a large amount of the guys that will be on the list I, can, I do have. Now, like Randy Moss, right? I use his 91 power up as a starting wide receiver on my team. I genuinely use him. I think he's great even without his full card. Now, when I'm ready for his full card, he gets even better, obviously. But... That is the beauty of these cards. They can be used interchangeably either way, which is why I like having them on my team. Now, guys, before we get into this video, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on to bell, boys. We're halfway to 12K. We're grinding, boys. I appreciate each and every one of you that join the family every day, so make sure you're doing that. Comment down below anyone you think I should add to this list. And guys, keep it going. You guys have been freaking unreal. You guys, the, I set the like goal again today. But yesterday, I said it, I said it for 200 two days ago. You guys killed it. I said it for 300 yesterday. You guys killed it. I said it for 400 today, and you guys have like 300 on one video ready today. So, I don't know if you guys are capable, but it looks like we could potentially hit it. Everyone watching this video right now, smash that like button. Can we get 400 likes today? And guys, if we keep getting this like goal for like another few days, I will end up having to do a giveaway or something because you guys are killing it. If maybe we can get this all up to like 700 likes, and if we can, not in this video, obviously, in a few days, I'll have to do a giveaway for you guys. So remember, it's awesome seeing when I start to, when I first post that video. It's awesome seeing the smat, the likes going flying up, flying up. So just letting you guys know. Sorry to reiterate this so much, but. If you guys could so kindly everyone right now watch this video right now smash that like button i promise you the like button will fly up we'll hit the 400 today and if we can do that guys i'm gonna have to do a giveaway for you guys at some point because you guys are killing it but let's get into this video so first on the list a guy that you guys probably already know when i've done these lists before i think he's been on this list year long since he's been around in this game quite honestly He's definitely been on this list of every single time, and I pretty much just talked about him. And that is going to be Randy Moss Power Up. Now, guys, multiple reasons, right? So I just showed you the card. He's going to be last on the list only because the card's great by itself, but it's not the best one by itself. I feel like it could still be, it's still, he's still kind of, would you want his full card and all? But by himself, until you can get his full card, still a great card, has above 90 speed. Now, this would have been higher, but the issue is that we have guys like Tyreek and stuff now that kind of are fast from Cole Hardman. So. He was better when he was more of a speed guy for me. Now he's not even the fastest, but he's still great. Very well-rounded. Can do everything. Can do everything that he needs to do. Has all the stats that he can need. Plus, he's fast. His name is Randy Moss. Six foot four. Get some animations. And again, when you're ready to power him up, or you can afford his Redux card, you can easily toss him in there. Another guy. So some of these guys move up and down the list yearly, depending on where they are at in the game. So another guy is Aaron Donald. Now the only reason Aaron Donald's not all the way up there is because obviously we've gotten some better cards. And for this one to be at his full potential, you're going to have to power him all the way. But by himself, as a solo show guy, this is him right here. This is him fully powered up to his 90 overall without his full card. And he is a monster, as you guys can see. He still has great stats. Almost hits every threshold by himself. That is why he's on this list. I do feel like there's a few other guys that are bigger, bigger difference makers at this point in junction in the game. But again, another guy that fully powered up monster. Even by himself, I use him. And he's still a monster. Now, guys, next, since I want to speed up the beginning a little bit so we can get to the, you know, the, the top five bangers. Next one is a guy that, what's great about him is his speed. Denzel Ward, obviously, you guys saw the name. And it's what he becomes after he's powered up also. You see, while being power, before being powered up, he's still going to have, like, 90 speed. He's still going to be crazy fast with pretty good man coverage and pretty good press. But fully powered up, this card can get sprinter or brawler or whatever those things are called. He can get the higher speed, the higher excel just from being boosted. His speed, his like his speed potential that's already there can get so much better powered up because he can get all his abilities and stuff on him. This card's a monster. Either way, you're going to get a great athletic corner because that, that's the beauty about cards with speed is that when you power them up, they usually still maintain their speed. So you can still get a really fast card for the cheaper price of just training rather than going through and getting the full card, which is why I like this Denzel Ward. Next, this guy's on here, not just because of where we're at in the game, but because this position to truly reach its potential has to be powered up. So either you're going to, uh, whether or not you're going to use him all the way, Saquon Barkley power up is necessary just to have him because if you look at him, look at what it cost. 
Like, Saquon right now is great, right? But without his power up, he wouldn't be above 90 speed. He wouldn't be above, he, he'd be slightly above 90 carry. His elusiveness wouldn't almost be all the way over there. His acceleration probably would just barely break a 90. And not to mention, what makes Saquon so special, any running back this year, is getting evasive, bruiser, wrecking ball, leapfrog, jukebox, all those abilities you can only get if they're really powered up. You know, like the best ones at least. Like evasive, I'm pretty sure you can only get if you power them up because that's a tier three ability and he cannot get evasive anywhere else at the moment. So for that reason, most running backs, whoever the best running back is, their power up is going to be a top 10 power up that you're gonna want for the time being. Next on the list is a guy that I had on my team starting for the entire year since he's been out as a 90 power up card. So I can surely, surely tell you guys that he was a monster. Deion Sanders powered up to a 90. Without being his full card, he still had the zone threshold. I believe it was the zone, right? Not the man. He had no, he had the man threshold. Without being powered, with just being powered up to 90, he had the man threshold, still had 90 speed, still had everything you needed from him. He was still a great card. And then I went all the way and had to power him all the way because now look at him. This card is crazy good, powered up all the way. I'm just letting you guys know. This is another card that's interchangeable, can easily start in your team as a 90, and then can most certainly do some damage as a 93. And they're playmakers too, right? They may not be the biggest playmakers, but they still make things happen, even for cards that aren't as expensive or cost that much. Now, this next guy, he's on this list because, guys, the speed is real with this guy, the Cheetah Tyree Kill. And trust me, even as a power-up, when I was powering up, I could even see how fast he could potentially get, even without buying his full card that's really expensive. So... As a fully powered up card for me, he has a 95 speed. As a powered up card, I believe he got to like a 92 or 93 speed as a 90 overall, which is still pretty crazy. You're gonna get one of the fastest cards in the game and have a Tyree Kill brand name on your team without having to actually buy that card. So that is why I think this Tyree Kill is one of the better ones, obviously. And to get all of his abilities and, his, and to be able to put Shaker, which is kind of why I powered him up because I wanna be able to put Shaker on him, get him that plus speed on him too and everything. But for that, it did require that I get his full card, which is why I had to do it. It was 500k. It was a lot, but you could save so much coins going with just the power of Tyra Kill and rocking with him. Now, this next guy, I don't think he's the best on the list, but the issue is with him is that he's going to be an end game card. So, for that reason, you always got to have him up here. Because, guys, I had this guy individually, Lawrence Taylor. I had him individually as just in, in 90 overall, 88 overall. He was one of the best outside linebackers in the game. Then I powered him up, and now, in my opinion, he's still the best right outside linebacker in the game. This card's a monster, guys, and this card's about to get great. I was telling everyone this last video, you guys complained that I said that, but I wasn't saying that he's not good. I was saying that he's amazing now, and next card's going to be great. The reason he's not great right now is because the game has progressed. There's He hasn't gotten an upgrade since the first few weeks of Madden. That's why he's not great right now. But his next upgrade is going to break the game, and he's going to be overpowered. He's re he All of his stats are on the verge of being super, like, super OP. On the verge. For even the standpoint that the game's at now, since today he's got this card. So imagine when he does get it. His power up's great. His full legend's great. And the next card's going to be super OP. Let's go with that. How about that? I'm telling you guys, Lawrence Taylor is definitely one that you're gonna want to be picking up. And because he's an end game card, he's a guy that you could pick up today and know that he will be on your team to the last day of this game, unless you guys really have a your fan favorite or someone else that comes out. For me, I'm a Giants fan. Trust me, he'll be on there all year. And guys, quite honestly, you can't go wrong with it. That's the bet. That's what you want to do, Matt. You get cards that you never want to get rid of because then you don't have to worry about spending coins and powering down and doing all the other stuff. Next is a guy that's going to be very expensive, guys, so good luck with this one, but it's definitely worth it. Lamar Jackson, as a 68 overall, he has 81 speed. That's pretty crazy for a 68 overall. Now, you look at my Lamar Jackson, right? Getting this Lamar on him would mean multiple things, right? He would open up his third ability slot. Actually, I think Team of the Weeks do get their third ability slot, so I take that back. What I should say is it will open up his chemistry slots, all of them which means that we could put on the brawler chemistry or the sprinter chemistry, which means that first off, powered up off the bat, his stats go up, right? So powered up Lamar Jackson have a 91 speed, 95 throw power, 87 short accuracy, 83 medium accuracy, 83 deep accuracy, 91 throw under pressure, 89 throw on the run, and 87 play action. So with the right chems, he will finally get the throw on the run threshold for me. He will get even close to the short accuracy threshold potentially, or even the throw power threshold. Not to mention, with powered up and sprinter, let's just say, he would potentially get to a 93 speed, which is pretty awesome for a quarterback. Like, that's just, that's crazy right now at this point in the game. And depending on what stats go up, maybe he even unlocks some more abilities. That is why Lamar's great. He is obviously very, very expensive, which is why I'm waiting on him. So a lot of them came down from the new power ups, but Lamar has not. I mean, he has come down actually, because he came down from 300K, but in comparison to the others, some of them were like 70K, now they're 3K, like Evan Engram, who I have at number one on my list. Now, Evan Engram's from all three. First off, he's cheap. Being cheap helps, right? 
Compared to Lamar, maybe I'd rather Lamar or Tyreek, but he's so much cheaper that you can't, you, uh, the justification is just there. I'm going to show you guys this one in full on my team so you guys can go see what he actually will end up looking like. This card right here, just think about it, right? You know that tight ends are sometimes the glitchiest cards. They get matchups in the game on slower cards. They get the opportunity to share. They get open looks, but the issue is they're never athletic enough to always capitalize on it. Now, the beauty of Evan Ingram is that when you see a tight end that his full card has like an 89 speed, you know that that card's overpowered. So I was thinking, right, what if I get his power up and I powered up all the way, but I don't want to buy his car because that's too expensive. So you power him up to an 89. He gets 87 speed. How much will it cost? I did the math. It's like 3,700 to 3,600 uh, training. So in essence, all that means is that it'll cost you probably no more than 60 to 70K with the price of training right now, maybe like 75, 80K. And you will have a 89 overall tight end that could be your starter or your backup i'm gonna use them as a backup but in most schemes the backup's on the field so for me i have two tight end sets so instead of always blocking my left tight end i'll actually put him on a route and i'll block george kittle because george kittle is a run blocker so on run plays i could block george kittle and then even on pass plays they could both go out instead of i always block my left one because he's ass he's just a tight end there just just to be there and block him i'd rather have engram there he's no worse of a pass blocker than all the other tight ends i have and guys with that speed you know how many times i get wide open out routes with george kittle but the issue is like or right on the break he gets he gets that he can get loose if he can cut the corner but the issue is he can never break up field because george kittle's got an 83 84 speed i mean guys are fast enough at this point but engram gets because like in this game you guys understand how madden works right 93 speed or whatever 95 speed you still need the step you can't just it's not like old school 05 football they can't just run circles you always need that step right and in madden a 93 guy gets the step he's gone forever an 87 speed guy doesn't have a step he's done nothing but if he gets a step which tight ends always get steps because they, they usually open in my scheme he can take that all the way and even if he can he can at least take a 50 yards he can break big plays kittle can break the play but he gets caught up too quickly engram is fast enough to where getting caught up won't be as easy and he can even take it all the way make big plays i just think it'll be glitchy at tight end and if you guys really want to use your power pass which i don't really recommend but you could and you could quite honestly go pick them up as this full card if you guys want to. But that is about it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notify bell, boys. Come join the family. And if you haven't already, comment down below who I missed on this list. And guys, don't forget, everyone right watching this, you're still here. Like that video. Can we get 400 likes in any video today, guys? Let's keep increasing it. Let's see how far we can get. You guys are crazy. I cannot believe that you guys are doing this. If we can get this to 400 today, and we can get to 5, 600 in the next few days, guys, I might just have to do a giveaway. But that's about it for the video, guys. Don't forget to like. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.